Hey, what's going on guys? So again, I'm back here at Extreme Exotics down here in Florida to meet again with Sabrina. This place is so incredibly awesome. There are so many awesome animals here. Every time I'm down here in Florida, I'm gonna try to stop by and do many more animal videos here. But in this video, we're gonna meet the seven foxes that live here and learn all about the different color morphs and where those color morphs of red foxes actually come from. It's not what you may think. <laughs> Alright, so we are still at Extreme Exotics over here, and this time we're going in with the foxes. These guys are amazingly they are, beautiful. They are gorgeous, really, really smart animals, and really stinky animals, uh, yep, and yep. really destructive animals, but super, super cute. Absolutely. Super cute. Well, you know, there's a, there's a, a level between, you know, the higher the cute quotient is, the lower we care about the, the smell. The more you'll tolerate. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, well, you think monkeys have a smell? You ain't smell nothing like a fox. I wish I could get a whiff of it for the if folks this was uh, behind the right. camera. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've got four foxes in here. I cannot wait to get in there and meet these guys. Let's do it. All right, so we're going this into this one first. Is a Rusty and Princess. Rusty and Princess. Yes, Princess is a talker. Hi. Hi. Whoop, 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 whoop. She just. It's okay. She's back. Hey, uh, she's looking. You, you want to come back Usually in here and be on the video? In here. So just to give you an idea, I just put this bowl in here. Uh, we've got a Monster Energy drink. Oh, uh, no. being yeah, that's all we need is for a fox to be wired. Yeah, especially that one. <laughs> Come on. What is that? <laughs> Look, see, she wants to destroy that's everything. That's right. It's a whole new area to explore. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, princess? You're not supposed to be in here. Look at her face. <laughs> She's like, don't make me go back. I want to explore. Oh, my God. What so is that adorable. fluffy thing on that camera? So adorbs. No food in here right now, baby. So when I come in to feed them, I set the food right there. Yeah, they know that so that's she, where it is. And she's the biggest eater. She's peeing on everything right now, by yeah, the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, uh, And this bowl, I just put in five minutes before we came in, and it's already full of fox pee. There you go. What are so they? they're technically all red foxes. So red foxes that are captive bred um, come in all kinds sure. of color variations. And it's kind of sad how that came about is from fur farms. Right. The, all the colors right. that you see in foxes developed at fur farms years and years ago. Um, these are, I think we have seven foxes that are seven different colors and they're all red foxes. All red foxes, mm -hmm. yep. So foxes are a naturally shy animal. They are not a outgoing with strangers kind of animal. So they're not usually one as an adult, even if you've raised it around people, that's going to want strangers to touch it. Absolutely. I think they're talking about my hair. They are definitely talking about your hair. <laughs> <laughs> They're very talkative. Very talkative. She is especially talkative. She talks a lot. But at nighttime, they're more nocturnal. Mm, sure. So at nighttime, they are wild. I mean, we hear them yelling. If you didn't know what it was, you'd think somebody was getting murdered. I, you'd come right. running out the house calling the police. Right. Oh, sorry, it's just the foxes. Never well, mind. <laughs> wild red foxes yes. are literally found all over the world. And people that don't know what that call is, they call the police. They think it's a chupacabra. Ab well, yeah, <laughs> or somebody getting bloody murdered, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, Princess is one that came from a family that thought she was going to live in the house as a house pet. Sure. And they had kids in the house and very quickly realized it was not a dog. Right. Um, but they did purchase her thinking she would live in the house like a dog. Um, there are some foxes that can be litter box trained that doesn't get rid of their odor. Yep. It doesn't get rid of the destructiveness. It doesn't get rid of the urinating on everything. Please. And and sometimes they nip playing. It's not even aggressive. Right. You know, but again, it's just like with a monkey. You try to reprimand a monkey and it's going to slap you back. You know, you try to reprimand a fox and they're like, I'm just doing what foxes do. That's right. I'm doing what I naturally That's right. do. That's right. You cannot scold an animal for, being... for doing what an animal does. Mm -hmm. For that's being a, an animal. That's that's such a human construct it's, and a human way of thinking. That's why I, I set them up, let them do their thing in an area where you don't have to tell them what to do. Exactly. <laughs> and it's the same with foxes or mm -hmm. chompers over there or the leopards yep. from previous videos. Yep. It's the same. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't own them. Frankly, they own you. When you get bit, it's 
nine out of ten times because you were trying to make it do something that it does not naturally want to do. Exactly you correct. Know? Exactly so, correct. And not to say, I mean, there are lots of foxes that are, are social and friendly, um, but for the most part, they are a shy animal. So putting them on a leash and walking them around is fine for the first few years. Yeah. Uh, but it becomes, at some point, an adult animal that just wants to live like an adult animal. Exactly right. So I think uh, the mistake a lot of people make is that they want a dog, but they want something more exotic than a dog. Mm -hmm. And so they think, oh, I'll get a fox because it's just like a dog. Exactly. It's a canine. It exactly. A, you know, whatever. I'll teach it to sit. They are smart like a dog. They do have a lot of dog tendencies. Uh, but, you know, you can teach a dog not to pee in the house. Right. You can teach a dog what to chew up and what not to. Whereas a fox, it's just a free for all. Right. They're going to they're going to do it because that's what foxes do. Um, and they, and it's the same way you have to walk a dog. It's not as easy to walk a fox and they need to get their energy out. Sure. So you have a fox inside and it doesn't have an outlet for its energy. More things get destroyed. Same thing with dogs. It's just easier to take a dog out on a walk than it is a fox. Exactly. All right. So we're going to let these guys, um, do their thing in here, but we have another enclosure to go meet we'll some other foxes in. Meet the other class. Absolutely. So this is Foxy Moxie. He was our Foxy first Moxie. fun ever. You want that fluffy thing? Yeah, I want everybody that fluffy wants thing. the microphone cover. All and right. This is River Girl. Now these are absolutely gorgeous They're beautiful. foxes. Hi, Foxy Moxie. Hey, Foxy Moxie. You can't have that. 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 You can't have it. <laughs> Now, do all foxes like Monster Energy drink? Apparently. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at them. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just something new that smells funny. Right, right. Yeah. Hi, River right. Girl. And that one's River That's over there. That's River Girl. She's just kind of hanging me... out in the warm Florida sun. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Hi. Hi. Good to meet you. Hi, River Girl. And <laughs> now we're hanging out in the log. Um, so she's referred to as a silver fox, gotcha. which is still technically a red fox. Right. His color scheme is called platinum. Platinum, okay. But still a red fox. You see her peeing on stuff. Yep. Yep. Um, Rusty and Princess, you know, they're, they're all a morph of a red fox. Um, hi, baby. I got nothing now. I got nothing. You can see the teeth on him. Mm-hmm. And it, it, foxes naturally nip at things, right. and they do it as play, they do it as just uh, checking something out, and they do it aggressively. So an, a fox nip is a very common thing that they do for lots of reasons. And so people say, oh, it bit me, it bit me. Well, it's just doing what foxes do. Right. Right. Again, People you want the animal the right. to not be what it is, exactly. and that's unrealistic of, of us to think. So now, what are the differences in care between a dog and a fox? So definitely diet, um, and again, I would say with the level of um, domesticated dogs can be versus foxes, you can't really train out the peeing on things, you can't really train out the destruction of things. But diet-wise, we do a raw diet. Uh, a lot of people do raw diets for their dogs, but not everybody does. They do also get a commercial um, high-grade dog food mm. and then vegetables. They love vegetables. So they get a raw meat with the bone ground up in it with a added calcium mineral powder, and then they'll get a little bit of that high-protein high grade dog food and veggies and, and veggies. they love it and then we'll do rodents frozen thawed rodents um, eggs they like eggs sure. eggs are a little bit of enrichment for them too they push them around and play with them and eat them so they kind of serve a dual purpose uh, but yeah they actually eat a lot more a lot of people think they just eat meat and they like princess who you met the all white one she will run around and eat everyone's veggies first loves veggies <laughs> that's why she's the princess yeah don't pee on her <laughs> Yeah, they are just absolutely transfixed on the dog. Yeah, they do. They love dogs. Hi, Blazeroni. Hi, Blazeroni. <laughs> well, they all want to play. See, he loves Blaze. Just wasn't sure about the new dog. Right, right. Loves Blaze. Blaze Brownie. 
Watching animals play with each other, it's the best thing. It is the best thing in the world. At four of Look your seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Now, <laughs> That's all I am. now you're Dave Height. Right Hi, there. Yes. I'm Dave Kaufman. Rattle on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've met four, four of, of yours. Four of the seven. Of the, so we got three more left to That's visit. That's correct. Seven minus four is three. It is. <laughs> My God. The things we are learning over here at Extreme Exotics, it is amazing. You want to go meet the other three? Four plus three. Seven. Yes, it is seven. It is, in fact, seven. All right, yes, let's go meet the other seven. Did you just second guess me? <laughs> no, I second guessed me. Look, if we were counting numbers, I'd fail, but we're counting boxes, so I'm good. All right, so we're going in the last enclosure with the final three foxes and uh, don't tell the other ones these are my favorites and one of them in here is rusty and princess's baby he's oh, my favorite all right let's go meet him <laughs> hi sweetie so she's real shy so just stay right here for yeah, now because yeah. she's staying still and she's not running from there's baby boy you see he's a perfect blend of rusty oh, and princess sure and is. Rusty has blue eyes. His, on our right side, his left eye, the bottom half of it is blue. He has a half blue, half brown eye. Look at that. That's their baby. That's my baby boy. I love him. And that's Callie. Hi, Callie. Now, Callie looks like the wild looks like type. Looks like a red fox, right? right? A With wild a little type bit of extra red patches fox. and extra coloring. And they all the love paws. the microphone They do. Look cover. at her. Look at her. Oh, just a She's so cute, girl. Just adorable. And then this is Zena. And this is Zena. Hi, wow. Zena. She's real shy, and she's our newest. She came from a fox breeder that had sold all of them but her, didn't want her anymore. And I'm pretty sure that she was kept the way that fur farm foxes are kept, mm. on wire up in the air, because she stays up on that shelf gotcha. on the wire. Um, and she's very shy. You can tell she wasn't really interacted with. So she came from, I think, a not so good place, and she's loving life now. She's I was going to really say, well. so she's in a good place now. She though. was really, really shy and standoffish when we got her, and now, she, like when it's feeding time, she'll come over to me. So I can't pet her, but she's gotten comfortable with me. Which right. Is really, all I can ask for. Absolutely, and in time, they're going to be just like these two. And this is another. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right. 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 And, and this is another thing about buying a fox is you need to one know what you're getting into, but you need to know where it's coming from. Right. Because if you're paying someone for a fox, that I'm assuming and I don't know, but the way she acts and how she is, I think it was a breeder set up that's set up like a fur farm. You need to always see where they're coming from. Right. If they won't let you see the parents or where they live. There's a reason. There's not an animal here that I can't walk you in and show you who it is, what it is, where it lives, where it came from. So if you're getting an animal and the breeder won't let you see the adults or where they live, that's a, that's a red flag to me. Yep, make that a hard pass. Yep. So we've mentioned a couple of times that all of these different color morphs came from 
selective breeding for the fur industry. Mm -hmm. In today's world, how big a problem is Oof. the fur industry still? God, don't even get me started. You're going to make me cry on camera. Um, it is still a problem. And unfortunately, there's still people that buy fur. Like literally, if you are someone that, that buys fur, unsubscribe my channel. Don't ever come here. Don't have anything to do with me. Like if you buy fur, you are part of the reason that animals are suffering. If you buy fur, you are the worst you are the reason on the planet. that these animals are suffering so that you can put some freaking fur on your body who freaking cares like I, i'll never understand it that fur is not meant to be on your body it's meant to be on theirs and we now have synthetic materials that you can yes, make fake fur you if you do... really want to look like you're wearing fur i think you look stupid right and the, whole, <laughs> the whole fur industry it's so it should have ended a hundred years ago should have never started should have ended a hundred years ago it's more. absolutely awful not to mention let's say this is a fur farm that doesn't have missing paws and doesn't have missing teeth and isn't sitting in their own feces okay well they're still sitting on wire cages yep. that have just enough room to turn around like this and they get brought food and water it's it's i don't know how it's legal I don't either. and quite frankly like if enough people in the public started making an uproar about it they would have to pay attention but it it takes strength in numbers so if it's something that people really want to change people need to start talking about it and bringing attention to it mm -hmm. and demanding that places like that be shut down and that the standards be raised. And where does the public who cares about this, where do they go to start that process? You need to go to your state governors. You need to go to your senators. You need to make a, a stink about it on social media. Unfortunately, that is how things get rolling in today's world. Right. Um, but really, if you bombarded your state senators, your state legislators, governors, mayors, you need to start just blowing them up. If they hear about it and they hear about it and they hear about it and they hear about it, they can't help but pay attention to Absolutely it. Absolutely correct. So, it's, I just don't, I don't understand how we live in a world where something like that's still legal. Neither do I. I just don't. That needs to stop yep. immediately. 110%. So guys, I'll tell you, the entire fur industry is a business that has absolutely no business being in business any longer. That's archaic, it's cruel, it's inhumane, and it needs to stop today. So I encourage all of you watching this video to get as involved as you possibly can to stop the fur trade once and for all. So guys, comment below on a suggestion of what you may have to help these animals and to help stop the fur trade so that other people can learn from you guys as well. I will also put links to a couple of resources in the description below, so check that out as well. So every time I'm down here in Florida, I've got to stop by Extreme Exotics here because there is something magical around every corner here and Sabrina also has a really awesome YouTube channel called The Wild Side with Sabrina. I'm putting her links in the description below. Check out her channel as well. And guys, as always, thanks for watching and until the next animal adventure, love the planet, feed your animal obsession, and rattle on.